guys and welcome to week five of my vlog Lady in Red um, thank you for coming back this week we are going to be getting to know the cast a little bit better so I asked on Twitter if you guys would send me some of your questions so we're going to be getting diary rooms big brother style this week and uh, getting to know people keep your questions coming as well because I'll sort of keep you know putting them in every now and then because I know there's lots of things you want to ask the cast and get to know so um yeah enjoy also i've got a special guest my first guest on the show which is very exciting for me um and yeah thank you for joining enjoy hey guys i wanted to just show you this this is the kind of soul live is so this toy she sort of doesn't play with anymore she just sort of looks after it like this Look which one it is, guys. It's the one that's lost its leg and its ear. Look at her face. Look at her face. Aren't you nice, Ivy, to look after him? She just loves him. Last week was a little bit interesting, didn't it? And Tommy it did. sort of thought he'd sort of <coughs> mock, mock me a little bit. Basically? I mean, I don't think so. I think it's all fun and games here in the Needle Oh, it's Asia. fun. Oh, you know? it's fun. Oh, it's, it's just fun. some good competition. Good competition. I That's like it. some good competition. So, this week, it's heating up. It is heating this up. Is... We're having what we call a, a word off. We're having a word off. A word okay? off. Okay? I'm mixing it up a little bit this week because I've had some tweets. Thank oh you, guys. Oh, I've had some tweets saying... I'm American. I don't know what Tommy's words are. Well, They're it's because it's not American. Words. It's Staten Island. Staten Island. Staten Island Italian. So I'm going to get a little bit specific. Oh. Ick. Okay. Great. <laughs> so I'm going to go. So I'm actually from the Isle of Man, which makes me Manx. So I'm going to give you some Manx words. Because oh a lot God. of our friends don't know <laughs> Manx words. So it's going to get interesting. Okay? Oh, my gosh. First word. Mm -hmm. Skeet. Um... It's what Lil John says in his in his rap for Get Low. Down, mm -hmm. skeet, 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 down, skeet, well, skeet. What does it mean? Yeah. Um, it's like really down and like dirty and fun and dancing. No. No. What is it? No. But nice try. I like, I, you get a point for the, for the uh, you know. Um, it's the gossip. What's the skeet? Oh, What's I the love gossip? that. Okay. And places places. 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 By the end of this, I'm going to start just adapting all of your words. I know yeah, that that's go, what's going to happen. Okay. All right. So my word right now. God forbid. So, in a sentence, if I couldn't God make... God forbid. What do you mean? God forbid. Like, like, well, God forbid I was to get sick. And Damn it, you got it! Because we... Oh my God. <laughs> in Staten Island, we put the two words together. You can't even say, yeah, tell can, that we're saying God forbid. It sounds different. It's God forbid. God forbid. I do like this. It but she different. got that. That was a trick question. I was question able to translate it. it. Darn it! All right, okay. I got... Oh, you go first. Okay. Um, what am I saying if I'm saying, all right, Yeza? <laughs> Is that one of the daughter's names of Fiddler on the Roof? <laughs> what? <laughs> right? I love you so much. <laughs> it means mate. Like, all right, mate. All right, Yeza. 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 Oh, all right, all right, yeah. Okay. Yeza. Hit me. Go on. All right. Galmad. Galmad. Yeah, I went to uh, the store to see if the... Oh, no, no. What do you think? Do you think the Galmad is uh, mushy or crunchy? Oh, I don't know. It's calamari. Oh, that's a good one. Squid. Come in. Fried squid. Um, We're having our word off. Word off. Okay. <laughs> word off. I'm going to just... I'm going to do... I'm going to... That's my Manx words. I'm going to go... Um, this is one that at stage door they asked me to play the game just like on the spot. Great. Skive. To skive, this is for both of you. To skive, get get down because we're getting a nice crotch. It's like here. so. Skive is like um when you are in the airplane skydiving, but you don't have time to say skydiving because you're about to jump out, so you just Duck. have to say skive. <laughs> Again, a point for effort. Skive. I'm gonna say it's like uh, maybe it it's. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty accurate. Skive! Uh, I'm gonna say it's a uh, when you 
do a high five while skydiving. No. Oh. So nice attempt. Skydive. It's basically you know some it's what you guys call I think playing hooky like eh, eh, I'm sick and you know oh, it's you're skiving. Cool. You're a skyver. Don't I sky. Think I actually like our version better for yeah. that one. You know. So I don't well, know. That's I might... convenient. Yeah, that's yeah. convenient for you. <laughs> one point. One, one point, point for us. <laughs> um, we're not playing She's points. We're playing winning. for pride, and I don't know if either of us have. I'm any not of walking this up stage. feeling great. Let's just say that. All right, one more. Playing. Oh no, one yeah, more. go on. One more. Agita. Agita. I was so. I was uh, agitated. No, oh. that's not it. That's not it. Go no, on. agita. It's like when you get acid reflex from eating certain foods. I get agita. Agita. Really? Yeah. Ajita. Huh. That's, I get that. You know Ajita, know. right? I'm going to say right. that at the pharmacy. I got Ajita. What can I you give me? I have a little Ajita, yeah. And in your <laughs> accent, they're going to love that. They're going to go like, crazy. What does she Ajita. have? Skive? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks well, for playing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for joining us. I have been asked since last week um, for this little, little surprise. I mentioned a certain little diva. Um, and a certain little present, and she has been planning this for days, so you are welcome. Bring on the music. Hello, everybody. It's fun. Yeah! So, me and Fra met on the Les Mis movie, and um, oui. he is here now. Tell us what you're doing. So, I'm just checking out my friend Sam, starring in Pretty Woman the Musical on Broadway! And she was amazing! And then what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What am I doing here in your room? I am hanging on out with Broadway. your dog. On Broadway, what are you doing? A little, just a little thing. Just a wee play called The Ferryman. <laughs> Started previews this week. It's really very, very good. I I urge you all it, to come and yeah. see it. Are you going to come see it? Oh, hello. Yeah. Obs. I can't oh. wait. I can't wait. I didn't get to see it um, when it was in London. Everyone just raved about it, so I'm s I was super jealous. But now I get to. You get to see it. Are you and enjoying she's a New York, by the way? Superstar. I love it. I am. I'm loving it. It's mad to be here. It's quite surreal, actually. It is as weird, a, isn't it? I, I genuinely dreamt of living here for as long as I can remember, and now that I'm here, it's like... Ugh. It's just a bit nuts. Do you, ever, do you have, like, I keep having these moments, and it's been, like, I don't know, four months since I've been here. Yeah. I have these moments where you just, like, you go, like, you get on with your... I don't you haven't, you haven't been here as long, so you haven't, like... But relaxed yeah, into yeah. it, but then you get a moment where you just go, oh, you just, you have it like it's a, New York. Yeah, it's like the bar yeah. hits you, and it's like, oh my God. You have a stop and and take stock moment. Yeah. Like it just, I just went for a run in between, yeah, you know, exactly. after rehearsals the other day, yeah. and you know, run to Central Park, and you're like, whoa, this is my Kevin McAllister moment. Yeah. I'm having it. I'm running around in Central Park. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Thomas. Happy birthday to you. Guys, this is Magnolia Bay. Happy birthday. Thank you. What's your birthday wish? Not the main one because you can't tell us. What's your second birthday wish? Not the main one. Yeah, we're, mm. we average about four per person. <laughs> that, my, that my apartment goes into contract today. <laughs> right, well, fingers crossed for that. Welcome to our very own Pretty Woman Big Brother Diary Room. So here I'm going to be asking questions for the cast that you guys have been sending me via Twitter. So keep them coming and get to know our wonderful cast. Welcome to the Big Brother Diary Room. Thank you for coming. Um, I have a question for you from... At anywhere but here. Mm. Alison, how hard is it keeping your voice in shape to sing opera every night? Very hard. I'm usually on vocal rest all day. And yeah, it's hard, but it's great because it's a great scene and I have fun and I love the cast. So, but it's hard. But you can do it. Vocal rest, water, tea, ginger, throat coat. Anna, also from At Anywhere But Here, how does it feel to have your own song on the cast recording? 
Um, amazing. It's really cool. This is my first um, original Broadway Company cast album, um, so that in itself was a complete treat. But then to also get my own song was such an amazing gift. I mean, Brian and Jim wrote this really cool, jazzy, ballad, standard kind of feeling song, and um, it, it, I mean, I remember when I was first given it during readings, and I was just like so excited to get to sing it for everybody, and I get to do it every night. From at Rose Hadley Jones, what is your favorite track to cover? My favorite track to cover would be Jennifer Sanchez's, because she gets to be the snooty shop girl, and she also gets to be a fun, kind of lazy hooker. <laughs> so, this is from at Katie Tellez. Favorite go-to song to sing at the top of your lungs in the shower? We Belong. Can we have a rendition now? We belong, we belong, we belong together. Thank you for joining us on the diary room couch, you know? This is fantastic. I could stay here all day. <laughs> You're welcome to. I actually think I'd like to do the next eight shows from here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> With these around oh, me. Wouldn't that be a dream? Oh, uh, okay. fantastic. Look, is my sunglasses match your room. Oh, yeah. I wore them for you. Thank you very much. Planning. Planning ahead. Um, okay, this is from at It's Marissa Faith. Okay. Question. Yes. What is your favorite vocal warm up that you do before slaying on stage? <laughs> uh, literally, it's very simple. <laughs> So guys, do that and you'll sound like Orfe. That's ha! it. I do this thing that Samantha and I used to get in trouble during rehearsals for doing. Yeah. We do this thing. It kind of sounds like a horror movie. We go... Uh, so it kind of sounds like the ring. Yeah. The creature that comes, you know. What it does is ma it massages your vocal cords. And it does it in a way that it makes the mucus fly off and all sorts of good things happen with the most wretched sound you could possibly imagine. All worth it. All worth All it. All worth it. Welcome to the diary room. Thank you for joining us. Mm. Um, Feels nice. I have got um, a question eh, from J from KJ Carterall. KJ Carterall? At KJ Carterall. So that is, what was your favorite memory so far with Pretty Woman? So far with Pretty Woman, my favorite memory is <laughs> when uh, this is previews. My suspenders got caught in the uh, <laughs> piano chair as I was trying to uh, have piano sex with <laughs> with Samantha. So I was got up. I was like, <laughs> "Oh, this is the sexiest thing ever!" But got up and I actually brought the chair with me, and it was kind of hilarious. Therefore, I don't wear suspenders in that scene anymore. True fact. Okay, so I'm going to answer a few questions now. Um, I'm going to go straight to it. So, uh, what's my favorite Vivian outfit? I actually love the first outfit, that sort of the blonde wig and the sort of cut outfit because I feel like it's just so iconic and it always brings me such like memories of growing up and watching this movie, this amazing movie. Um, and falling in love with this character. So I love it. The minute I get in the hat and the necklace and everything, I feel like, feel badass, feel ready to go. Um, <clears throat> at Shameless Lodge, um, do you like living in New York? I really do, you know. I, for a few years, would, would be in New York for a couple of weeks here and there doing um, a workshop or th things like that. And I, whilst enjoying being here, I found it sometimes a little bit intimidating. Like I'd leave the door and I, because I didn't really know where I was going and like, you know, it was just a bit frantic. But I really, really love that frantic energy now and it feels very, I feel at home here. I'm really enjoying it. I love, I love that there's always something to do. And if you wanna like order takeout at two in the morning, easy peasy, done. It's, it's kind of a fast-paced, busy world, and it really is a city that never sleeps. It's exciting to, it's exciting to be a part of it. Um, how does it feel to be working with the Bend and Snap Saturday Night Fever Queen Miss Orfe? Well, honestly, she is such a dream, and we have such a close friendship, and we have since day one. Um, not only is she just got an 
unreal voice. It's unreal. It's unreal. It, it, night after night, it's so fun to get to sing with her and get to hear her. But she's just the best soul and we've just had this really, really instant connection since the moment we met and I feel so lucky. It's like having a sister here and those kind of friendships are so special um, and you cherish them forever. So we have the best time. Yeah, I feel very, very lucky to have met her. Thank you so much for watching my show. Um, come back next week because me, Orfe and Jake have prepared a little something for you. So, uh, yeah, tune in. <laughs> <laughs>